Okay, the next thing is you want to import your posts and pages. So you want to log into your WordPress admin panel. And then over on the left you want to pick the Tools menu selection and underneath that you want to choose Import. Then uh, it gives you all these choices here, but I export it as WordPress, so you need to import it as WordPress, so pick WordPress. Now you'll have this screen, and what you want to do is browse to the directory where you unzipped the download that you got when you bought this package. Inside there you're going to find a file called WordPress export, and that's the export that you want to import, so select that. It'll show up in here and you want to click Upload File and Import. Then you want to just leave these settings, they're the default, and click Submit. And you'll see all the posts and pages now get imported. Now, there could be one problem if you already have plugins on your blog that are not the plugins that you got from my download. You might run into a problem where these don't import. And what you want to do if you have any trouble here, you want to just go and just temporarily disable all the plugins and then import your posts and pages and it should work fine.